Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new M4 iPad Pro and in this video I am going to show you how to use free Microsoft Excel in this iPad. So let's start. So first of all you have to open Safari browser and here you have to open a website. Name of the website is excel.new. So guys this is the official Microsoft website for Microsoft Excel. And then you have to sign in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have any Microsoft account you can select this option of create one and from here you can create your free Microsoft account. I already have my Microsoft account. Account, so I will sign in. After signing in with my Microsoft account, here you can see Microsoft Excel sheet is open with all different tools. For example, if I try to zoom in, so here we have this home tab, insert, share, page layout, formulas. So all different tools available over here. The next thing is, for example, I want to use my Apple Pencil Pro. So I will just double tap it like this and then I will try to write down a number. So I will write 424. So you can see it will convert it into the neat number. The so same way for example if I want to write some other number so I will just double tap it like this and I will write over here 1632. Now the next thing is for example I want to use the sum formula. So I will just select it and here is the sum formula and you can see I have the answer. The next thing is once you finish with your work you can also download a copy. So I will just zoom out like this and here you can see I have this option of file. So I will select file and then from here you can see I have this option of save as. So I will select save as and then here you have to scroll down and you can see I have this option of download a copy. So I will select this option and then I will select download. So it will download a copy of the same work to your file files folder and later you can access it. The next thing is whatever work you do on this Microsoft Excel sheet it will automatically save in Microsoft OneDrive. If you select this arrow here you can see it is showing you the file name and here it is showing you the location as OneDrive. Now how to access this OneDrive? So you can see on this corner we have these dots. So you select these dots and here it is showing you the OneDrive. So you can select it it will open the Microsoft OneDrive in a new tab. So guys Microsoft OneDrive is a cloud storage from Microsoft. The next thing is Microsoft gives you 5 GB of cloud storage for free. If you want more storage you have to select this option of buy storage and then it gives you different buying options. Now let's go back to the excel sheet and here I will show you different tools. So you can see formula tab is open. If I select this insert function here you can see I have a different formulas available over here. You can also select this sum option. You can also go for this accounting formulas option as well. If I select this insert tab here you can see I have this table option. So you can insert table. You can insert pivot table as well. You can insert pie charts and graphs as well. You can also access different templates for Excel. So select these dots and then from here select Excel. It will open the Excel dashboard and here you can see on top we have different templates available. You can select this option of see more templates and then it will show you more templates. So you can select any of these templates. For example here we have this project tracker, weekly timesheet, daily appointment calendar, timesheet worksheet so different options available over here as well. You can also use the new squeeze feature for Apple Pencil Pro. So if you bring your pencil closer to the screen and then if you squeeze it like this it will open this undo and redo tool. So you can also utilize these tools from here. You can also open two different excel sheets at same time and you can work on both of them. For example I will open this safari browser in split screen and here you can see I open another excel sheet. So now you can work on both of these excel sheets together. You can also go for editing and viewing mode. So here you can see on this side we have this editing option available. So if you select this arrow here you can see it is also giving you the viewing mode. 
The next thing is you can also export your work as a PDF file. So select this file option and then from here you can see we have this option of export. So select this export option and here you can see the very first option is about download as PDF. The next thing is you can also take a screenshot of your work using Apple Pencil Pro. Just swipe from left corner like this. It will take the screenshot. And now for example, if you want to write something, you can write and you can also use this highlighter if you want to highlight anything important. Once you finish with your annotations, you can also share it in any note taking app. So select this share icon and then here you can see I have this option of share to notability. So I will select it and then I will import it and then I will open note. So the same screenshot is now available in Notability app and now you can also work on this app as well. So guys please note that this is a web based version of Microsoft Excel so you always need an internet connection for using this version. Now I will show you how to access your Excel files and how to edit them. So on top left corner you can see we have these dots. So you have to select it and here you can see we have this option of Excel. So you have to select it. It will open the Excel dashboard in a new window and here you can see all your Excel work is available over here. Now for example you want to edit any file you can just select it like this. It will open your Excel file in a new window and from here you can edit it. The next thing is you can also draw on your Excel sheet using Apple Pencil Pro. So here you can see we have this draw tab and from here you can select any tool. For example, I will select this pen tool and now you can draw on your Excel sheet using Apple Pencil Pro. You can also use other tools as well. The next thing is you can also share your work. So here you can see we have this share option. So I will zoom in. So if I select it here, you can see I have different options. For example, I will select this share option it will create a link for you and then you can share that link so here you can see you can send it to anyone and there are other options as well so here you can see it is giving me the option of anyone with the link can edit if I select this arrow it will show you more options so here you can see if I select this arrow from here it will give me the option of can view or can edit options so guys, if you want to purchase Microsoft Office, you can try out this web based version of Microsoft Excel and this will be really helpful in your purchasing decision. So guys, this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.